No, I think I got it. Hi, my name is, oh, my name is James Rose. Um, I'm a painter, I draw. Let's see. Which, which button is it again? That. Okay, the arrow, there we go. Uh, this is a charcoal drawing. Uh, it's called our car. It's our car right there. Um, I paint what's familiar to me and I think familiar to a lot of people. Uh, I, um, I focus a lot on very formal things when I draw or paint. Uh, the mediums I use, things are fairly traditional, um, but I'm not just thinking about form when I'm making these pieces of artwork. I, 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 there's feelings involved too. And a lot of it is um, like identity through place, I guess. Uh, this is a Sharpie marker drawing. Uh, from all of 2013, 2014, I didn't paint. Uh, I just drew. And I used charcoal and Sharpie markers. And I started with Sharpie markers, then I found out, wow, illustrators actually use, there's like a whole world of markers out there. So um, I figured out, you know, I got some really good markers. Uh, and almost, markers almost replaced oil painting for me. Uh, and then, um, I was in a show and the curator asked me if I painted it and I was like, you know what, I, I do paint. I just haven't done it in a while. So, because of that question, I started painting and now for the last two months, actually this is another marker drawing, this is not a painting. Uh, this is driving over the Brooklyn Bridge looking out at uh, the Watchtower building. Um, so a lot of my work is about place. Uh, I'm from upstate New York originally, um, but my grandfather was born and raised in Brooklyn, and I didn't actually know exactly where in Brooklyn um, until my mom did a little digging. Um, she was raised in the Bronx, and he moved to the Bronx from Brooklyn to raise her. But uh, we found out after I moved to South Brooklyn that he grew up and born and raised about seven blocks away from where I live now, where I'm actually raising two kids. Um, with my wife, and so I started to paint a lot of local stuff around there. This is the Gowanus Expressway. Um, I, I recently started painting a lot about um, driving and going from one place to another. And there's a lot of uh, environmental issues about driving, and, and I'm starting to really like pack my paintings full of cars and just kind of like put an exclamation point on the packed highways because it's. We just got a car last year, it was my first car in years. I always took the subways. Most of my paintings for, for years were all about riding the subway, and now I'm in a car a lot, so. And I'm like, wow, these highways are packed. I drove over here, and I was like, this is crazy. I'm bumper to bumper all the way from South Brooklyn to here, it was insane. Uh, this is a, a bus stop. It's actually the bus stop on the corner of the street where my grandfather was born and raised. He lived there from uh, 1911 to, to 40s when he moved up to the Bronx to raise uh, his family, who's my mom and my uncles. And uh, I don't know, there's just something there for me. It's nostalgic. It's also it's a bus stop, you know. It's, a, it's these people. It, it, that's a little family sitting in there, and then there's some other people on their way to work. It's just a minute that happens, and I caught it, and it's in this painting now. And I, I'm, you know, when I'm painting it. That's what inspired me to paint this, was the feeling I got when I looked over there and I saw these people. But also, when I'm painting it, all of a sudden I'm looking at the light, and the color, and the composition, and that's when I kind of get into the formal things. But, uh, but I'm, I'm, really, I'm really concerned about the feeling that I get. And, and to put the feeling in a nutshell, you can call it nostalgia, but I think there's a lot of layers to that feeling that you have from a place. And a lot of it is your own self-identity. You know, a lot of the artists, when they came up here, they say where they're from. I said it too, I'm from upstate New York. It's just kind of a way you can kind of put yourself in context. And uh, these paintings are relatable, and, and that's what I want people to feel, to be able to relate to them and, and have that kind of feeling, the feeling I had when I saw what I wanted to paint. And uh, my means is through these formal, formal um, aspects, like light and color. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.